good evening uh, i am fine great okay anjana welcome to your clapping go demo uh do you want to quickly introduce yourself and then i'll also introduce myself okay my name is ranjana and uh, i love to write thing and uh, i am from the devariya district which belong in india so i am engineer i am uh, and i completed my engineering degree from the con- uh, from the kanpur institute of technology branch electronic and communication Uh, okay. i want to improve my english communication because i am working in a uh, multinational company where uh, employee are the different pro- part of my country india so i want to become fluent in english all right uh, is it ranjana or anjana uh, yeah my name is ranjana by mistake uh, put uh, my name is oh, okay no issue ranjana uh... nice to meet you my name is sachin as you already know and i am from mumbai maharashtra uh because of professional reasons i am in bengaluru karnataka i am a communication specialist in an mnc as well uh, not from the technical background though and i love to learn and teach english which is why i am doing this with clapping okay that's great okay uh, ranjana let me quickly since it's your demo let me quickly tell you how it works at clapping go uh what we are doing right now is called a session and before every session a session document is made available to you as well as me uh what is in the session document is basically the topic of the day uh, on which uh it is assumed that we will speak about for example the topic can be anything it can be travel food or anything that you like what happens is that for 15 minutes or for 25 minutes okay. whichever session you choose um uh, we uh, you know talk on that topic and i try to point out as many mistakes as i can in your speech and i like to uh, i would uh, give you some tips right uh, mm-hmm. to improve uh, the, it can be on the pronunciation can be grammar can be anything right so that is how it works uh, i will quickly show you how a session document looks like Mm. Okay. So let me know when you can see my screen. Okay, okay. Yeah. Can you see my? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Your screen is. Okay. So this is a session document. Uh, for example, as you can see here, the topic of the day is goals. goals. What we do is, uh, I would ask you all these questions. What is your biggest goal in life? How do you plan to achieve that goal? What are your short-term goals? And you give me answers for these in English. and what that basically does is lets me see what is your level of english what is your common mistake and what is the repetition uh, that you are making in your mistakes right and yeah, yeah. yeah that's how it works and in the same session document there are some new words uh, vocabulary exercises which make you learn new words related to that topic itself right and then there are grammar exercises in the end of that session uh, document right that will help you make your grammar better so basically that document is enough in itself uh, it can help you with vocabulary it can help you with uh, uh, practicing english and it will also help you with the grammar exercises right uh, usually we, i don't speak this much in a session but given that it's a demo session i have to tell you and uh, i like to tell you as soon as possible so that we can use the rest of the session uh, for you speaking right so yeah. let's dive into it uh you can tell me what topic would you like to talk on and uh, we can talk about that okay so what thing motivate to teaching the huge audience in in, in this platform so many students are coming so what thing motivate to making videos uh i'm not making videos uh, uh okay. on youtube or something but uh, if you ask me why am i doing this my yeah. father is uh has been an english tutor for over 3 decades that 30 years and uh, from him only i got you know uh, this thing that i i would also like to teach and learn so because of that probably i'm doing this and apparently anyone suggest you that platform uh, this platform or uh, you might uh, you got uh, this platform how you know about this platform mm uh nobody 
told me about it basically i told you my father still has yeah like english speaking classes that he's doing and he used to anyway suggest people that use clapping or basically clapping or gives yeah. you an environment where you can practice right yeah. so uh, he used to suggest his students to use the platform to practice their english skills because english is a language and you need somebody to practice with right you cannot just uh, learn the grammar and go ahead with it you have to learn or you have to practice you have to listen so he used to suggest this platform so i also thought of trying it out and it's been great so far so right now how many students you teach right now uh, uh, i i don't think i have kept a count uh, <laughs> it's new people every day and i don't call them students uh, per se uh, you uh, or i i like i would like to be your friend clapping who also you know tries to create an environment where it's not a tutor student relationship it is two friends trying to learn something from each other you might learn something from me i might learn something new from you so uh, it is definitely not a teacher tutor uh, relationship and uh, it's just two people trying to talk to each other and learn something from each other actually this is the beauty of that platform right because you're not getting pressure right that we can we are learning we have to learn something but you are we can communicate and we can get mm-hmm. from other easily but uh, in real life we only read from the books and uh, but when the time come to speak then we become uh, blank totally so if right. we communicate with the real people then uh, our hesitation become less right so, so the more you communicate with people uh, you will have an environment where you can hone your english skills it will definitely lower your hesitation it will boost your confidence and at the same point of time that person keeps giving you tips right uh, for example we have been speaking for 2 to 3 minutes i have been speaking for a lot of time what i have understood from your english is that you don't have a problem of pronunciation but you have a problem of sentence formation right what is happening is you are thinking in hindi and you are translating it in english while speaking what that does is basically it makes you lose your chain of thought right Yes. because you're thinking in hindi mm-hmm. and then trying to translate it and uh, that makes you lose what you want to say next to avoid that or to make it better one tip that i give everybody is to consume a lot of english content right try to watch as many english web series english shows english podcasts which are anywhere uh, freely available or if you have access to any of the ott platforms uh, that will be really helpful what watching a lot of english content would do is basically subconsciously train your brain to uh, you know think in english right right now when i'm speaking i'm not thinking in hindi at all i am thinking in english and i'm speaking in english how did that happen is only because of the content tell me just one thing when you were 5 years old i'm assuming uh, your uh, sorry assuming your mother tongue is hindi can you come it again <laughs> i actually i lost your mother tongue is hindi yes yes my mother tongue is hindi okay so tell me one thing when you were 5 years old did somebody teach you hindi grammar did somebody teach you sarvanam alankar bhutkal and all that no no I but still you spoke are repeating repeating uh, our parents or our friends right so in the beginning you only listen to a lot of hindi content from your parents from tv from everywhere right nobody teaches us sentence formation vakya nirman and all that when we are just 5 years old yet we speak so fluently right how does that happen is basically consuming a lot of content in a particular language similarly to learn english i would suggest you to consume as much uh, english content as you can that will definitely help you uh, to think in english and then you won't have to basically translate while speaking and you won't lose your chain of thought and you won't use filler yeah. words still we are learn- we know so many sentences but uh, when we speak we lost because we are not uh, da- daily communicate to each other in the da- exactly. daily time, daily time we are right. communicating in hindi and nobody interested in english my area right. so no, that is no. yeah, all but, uh, but uh, we have to motivate ourselves to speak because that uh, thing we have to study and speak because every day from a daily routine english is not my uh, any for ek one percent is not role in my life mm-hmm. my nobody is speaking in uh, english but uh, i try to motivate myself and reading books but uh, this is one way only 
but uh, when we speak to real person then uh, communication automatically become smoother and good so right it's it's good that I'm you have to, identified the problem the first like step now. to so solve a problem is to identify one so it's great that you have identified the problem and you think you have already taken steps to correct that you have subscribed you have taken a demo with clappingo and uh, you know that you need an environment where you know uh, you would like to practice your english right so it's good that you have identified it can you hear me uh can you hear me is my voice going through your voice it will be breaking and your video become stuck in some point i think mm, right now i think your internet has an issue because uh, okay ranjana ranjana i think your internet is having an issue i just ran okay. a speed test it was all right kindly check okay. your net network mm. now it's the okay okay like either way i was saying that yeah it's good that you have identified that you need an environment to practice your english uh, and that's great apart from that i want to tell you that you make uh, mistakes in sentence formations uh let me quickly tell you that the rule of a sentence formation is subject verb object uh but you jumble the you know you start with the verb and then go to the subject so uh, try to look at the video once you subscribe to clappingo you will get like a video library of all the grammar concepts as much as we can cover they are short videos 2 minutes 3 minutes that will help you in understanding the grammar concepts which are important to know uh what is right what is wrong right you need to identify that i am speaking wrong so that will help you do that and another tip i've already given you of consuming english content so mm. 